I'll be showing you 15 different micro SaaS examples. For each of these products, we'll be taking a look at their features, pricing, who they're founded by, and their self-reported revenue. Whether you're looking for your first micro SaaS idea or you're already scaling, it's crucial you know what's out there. I think you'll really like number eight, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. So let's take a look at our first micro SaaS here. It's called Bank Statement Converter. It was founded by Angus Chen, and this product allows you to convert PDF statements into CSV files. And this product came about from a simple need the need to convert your PDFs to a CSV so you can actually use that data as many banks don't provide this as an option. They only let you export a CSV, but if you're trying to do anything around taxes or to look through your statements and transactions, it's so much harder to do with a PDF. And so this lets you easily convert these statements from thousands of banks worldwide into a clean XLS or CSV format. They built this to be very secure. They provided this service to thousands of reputable financial, accounting, and legal firms, and they're continuing to improve their algorithm to be super accurate. It also does a self-reported $18,000 a month in recurring revenue, so it's doing quite well. The SaaS also has no employees and is just run by one founder. So they generate revenue on a monthly basis using reoccurring subscriptions, depending on the number of pages, and it goes from $30 to $99 a month. Our second micro SaaS tool does a self-reported $14,000 a month, and it's called Glorify. So it's a graphic design tool for e-commerce, and it was founded by Omar Farouk. And so it was built as an in-between, as Adobe is way too complex and Canva is too basic. Their big goal was to bring professional designers and non-designers into one tool when they can collaborate and work with zero limits to design beautiful content. And it's going to really speed up this process as you can create all your e-commerce ads, banners, and posts in just six seconds. And it's a tool that's been used by over 300,000 entrepreneurs and marketers. And they've done some for merchants on all platforms from Shopify, Amazon, Etsy, and more. They also have AI powered features to speed up this process. Let you have some really cool features here, such as creating and adjusting at scale with batch editing for your images. In terms of how they generate revenue, it's gonna be on a monthly basis, like most micro SaaS products, starting from $8 per month and moving up to $45 per month on the business plan. Our next micro SaaS is called Scraping Ant. It does a self-reported $13,000 a month and has two co-founders in Oleg and Mega. They wanted to start a business instead of doing full-time office jobs, so they brought their experiences as programmers to build something they were passionate about. They have 10 plus years in software development, startups, and r and and they use that to build this micro SaaS, and it's web scraping without getting blocked and they're gonna handle headless browsers and rotating proxy servers for you with no credit card required when you wanna sign up. They have 3 million plus proxy servers across the world. You can do things such as having unlimited parallel requests. In terms of how they're gonna generate revenue, it's gonna be on a credit basis for monthly plans going from 19 to 249. And this is definitely a really big space. In previous videos, we've looked at other SaaS companies that do headless browser management, and they've generated quite a bit of revenue. The next micro SaaS is called Choppity, and lets you turn your podcasts or videos into TikToks in just a few clicks. The vision is to automate social media video marketing. It was founded by Aaron, and it does a self-reported $10,000 a month. Now, some features of this micro SaaS is that it's 10 times faster, than using traditional video editing software. It's 35 times cheaper and it's very intuitive. And it was even mentioned on Business Insider as one of the top six AI tools podcasters use. So it's gonna take your long form content and use AI to chop everything up into small digestible clips that you can then share on your social media platforms. I think it's a great tool to use and it's gonna repurpose what is existing long form content. And without having to film anything more, you can just create short form content very easily. And they're loved by over 21,000 plus creatives. Our next micro SaaS is gonna cover a very different type of niche. This one's called SkinEye, and it's meant to be an AI dermatologist and then does a self-reported $11,000 a month in recurring revenue. And this product targets 2 billion plus people suffering from different skin conditions and provides immediate self-diagnosis as well as personal skincare advice in order to improve their skin health and beauty as well as their quality of life. There's two founders, Kirill and Artem. And they have over 250,000 users worldwide. I think this is definitely a really cool example of how you can take technology that's in every person's phone and combining it with something that you usually need a dermatologist for 
that's going to give you early scans and an idea of what's going on with your skin. Now, this probably isn't a replacement for a real dermatologist, so this isn't any health advice about this. I'm not a doctor or a dermatologist. We're just looking at different microSAS products. But according to the website here, they are CE marked medical software trusted by dermatologists and being used by people at home and professionals in primary care all around the world. They have some cool features like 3D full body mole mapping and AI based real time cameras helping take the best photos and evaluating skin problems. And it looks like they've done 1.9 million skin checks done in quite a few different things identified. Our next microSAS is called Convey This. It was founded by Mai. And it's gonna effortlessly translate websites, online stores, and content into 90 plus languages. You don't have the headache of coding or doing manual work for this. It does a self-reported $21,000 a month in revenue. And it's gonna elevate your e-commerce globally with culturally tuned website translations trusted by quite a few brands listed here. And it's one of those tools that is taking the power of AI to use dynamic AI translation, which is probably gonna create more accurate translations for all these e-commerce stores. Our next microSaS is called Cover. It's doing a self-reported $18,000 a month and it was founded by Yoav Hornung. And so this product is gonna be more of a marketplace for beautiful stock-free footage. It's, it's really expensive to get high quality stock assets like this. And so they're gonna have a free version and then the paid member only premium content version that's also gonna be an ad-free experience. And the goal of this product is to create a place for people to find really high quality stock footage that's not crazy expensive as their premium plan is even only $10 per month. Our next micro SaaS is called Centauri. It was founded by Tyler and it's gonna provide SEO coaching and software to show you how your SEO strategy is performing. They're doing a self-reported $11,000 a month and they're gonna help marketers use SEO as a growth channel for their business. So this one's gonna be a combination of software and coaching and community as you're selling this as a combined package. Because you're gonna get access to simple SEO software that's gonna let you understand how you're doing. This is probably a stronger sell than just selling one or the other separately. So I think it's cool how they went and combined this. Because if you wanna get into SEO, it's probably not just enough to have a software, as you need to learn how to do it as well. And so that's where things such as their monthly group coaching calls and their private community come in. Our next product is called Clue. It was founded by Stefan and it started out as their internal tooling for quickly experimenting with their app and features ideas that used chat GPT-3. They learned a lot from that and they went and expanded their platform and created this tool from it. So you can confidently iterate and evaluate your AI. So you can collaborate on prompts and optimize your LLM powered apps with Clue. It's trusted by hundreds of innovative AI teams, including those driving impact at Stanford, Stewart, and more. They're doing a self-reported $21,000 a month in recurring revenue. And with these insights, you can rapidly iterate and roll up usage and system performance across features and teams. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you wanna go and build your own SaaS product. I have free SaaS ideas you can steal for free. All you need to do is enter in your email below. I also have a course on how to build your very own micro SaaS. Even if you don't have any SaaS experience or any product ideas, there's a link for this in the description below as well. Our next micro SaaS is a tool called Block Survey. It's doing a self-reported $10,000 a month in revenue, and it was founded by Wilson Wright. And it's the future of forms and surveys as you can experience AI-driven, privacy-first data collection and redefining the standards for data ownership and user privacy using Web3. And the founder strongly believes in digital rights and wanted to share their part in building a better web for the future. In terms of pricing, similar to most SaaS products, but they are gonna have a free plan for the first 30 responses. And it's gonna go up in price depending on the number of responses and features you're looking for. I think a cool feature of this product is token gating. So this is meant for Web3 companies by integrating token-based access controls. So this unique approach ensures that forms and surveys are accessible exclusively to specified token holders, facilitating authentic, targeted, and decentralized feedback. So if you are a Web3 company, I think that's a really cool approach to making sure you're getting the right responses from the right people. Our next product is called ReplyMind. It was founded by Canuck, and it's doing a self-reported $15,000 a month in revenue. So this tool is your social growth assistant, and it's going to let Reply mine, write and reply for you. And there's a tool designed to create your impact on social media and social growth with things such as pre-built emotions, custom replies for each platform and text completion. 
works on several platforms such as Product Hunt, X, and LinkedIn to where people who are trying to build a B2B audience. In terms of pricing, it's a monthly basis and this goes up to $19 a month. Our next micro SaaS is called Formwise. This was founded by Jabai and it does $26,000 a month in self-reported revenue. It lets you create unlimited white label AI tools in just minutes. So you can turn popular chat GPT prompts into irresistible lead magnets, tiny offers, and marketing tools without coding. So you can join 4,000 plus coaches, course creators, and agency creating AI tools in just minutes. And so this lets anyone without any coding knowledge go and generate tools. And I think this is a cool product to have as we've seen just about every existing product out there integrate AI somehow. And maybe you have a course in Kajabi, or you have a site using WordPress and you want to integrate AI, but you're not sure how to build your own application, a tool such as Formwise is gonna let you do that. And we're seeing some review here, such as we built an AI PPC internal tool for the team and they've made campaign planning and onboarding an absolute delight. This person from HL Pro Tools created a lead magnet for their clients and overall it's just gonna speed up the development time and it's gonna simplify and probably be much cheaper if you don't know how to code. Our next micro SaaS product was founded by Malcolm Ocean. It's called Intend and it's a to-do list that never goes stale. So it's a solo founded project and it lets you be purposeful in your day and you can get into flow in just 10 minutes. So it's doing a self-reported $11,000 a month in recurring revenue. And overall, this product came from just the founder's own experience. They're highly interested in figuring out how people work on every level, and they're super into productivity and it helped them generate enormous amounts of value. And so now they're helping others do so through their micro SaaS called Intend. For our second last one, we have Bug Finder. It was founded by Stefan and Jordi, and it does a self-reported $27,000 a month in revenue. So it's a remote logger, a crash reporter, and in-app user feedback. It integrates with a ton of different frameworks and languages, and it's gonna allow you to track and destroy bugs before users even notice. So this product is definitely in the B2B space, as a regular person isn't gonna need crash reports or a log viewer. And like many B2B SaaS products, they're gonna have a free plan for indie developers and experimental applications. And then as these applications start to grow, they're gonna charge you for more logs aligned, and the pricing's gonna be in line with the value that your app is generating and the usage it's utilizing. For our final micro SaaS here, we have a product called Thumbnail Test. It was founded by Rox and it does a self-reported $20,000 a month in recurring revenue and it's YouTube A-B testing software. So you can test different thumbnails and titles live on YouTube and get every view possible out of your videos. It's everything you need. You can test as many options as you want. And the founders started to see some significant growth when they got a shout out from a large YouTube channel called Think Media that talked about their tool here. And they've served over a thousand plus channels. This looks like over 1.9 billion views measured. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you wanna go and build your own SaaS product. I have free SaaS ideas you can steal for free. All you need to do is enter in your email below. Also have a course on how to build your very own micro SaaS. Even if you don't have any SaaS experience or any product ideas, there's a link for this in the description below as well. So this is gonna conclude the video here. And we looked at 15 different micro SaaS examples. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you liked any bit of it, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. I'm coming up with new SaaS videos just like this all the time. So you don't wanna miss out there. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.